How is it going guys and welcome to Midmoon. If you are new to the channel, thank you very much for joining. I hope you like this type of content and if so, please consider subscribing. We're currently working in this series of my 1984 R107 and in this episode I'm gonna show you how to check and how to prevent a massive engine disaster. And we're gonna use some new valve cover gaskets, camshaft oiler kits and new bolts with washers. Let's get started. We need to align that mark with the camshaft mark and to rotate, always rotate it clockwise, the engine. We're gonna use a 27 socket and in this case I will have some extensions. Let's see how it goes. Okay, now is the moment of truth. We're gonna see how stretched my chain is. So marks are aligned and now we will check here. It should be in top dead center, which is zero degrees. And this is not good news at all. 12 degrees is way beyond specs limits. Should be between zero, probably six, seven, but 12 for sure is not good news. Okay guys, we're gonna do the driver's side now and we already removed valve cover gasket and now we're gonna face the difficult part, replacing these plastic clips. Out of five, we failed with two. This is great news. Those plastic guys, they look awesome. At some point in time, someone have already changed them. And the good thing though is that the left side is the side that will typically break when the timing chain slacks. So I'm not going to replace them. We'll continue fixing the camshaft oiler tubes. Just a recap here to close this video. There are four things that we need to check to avoid massive engine disaster. The first one is camshaft oil tubes. The second thing is the plastic guys for the timing chain. The timing chain was quite stretched or, which is number three. Point number four, the tensioner could be bad. I'm gonna try first replacing the tensioner and we'll see how it goes. So again, if you like this content, thank you very much for watching. If so, please consider subscribing and until next time, happy wrenching.